Hey there guys, Crafty Nessie here, back with another video. I know it's been a while, it's been like three years now since I posted a video, but I'm really excited to get back on this track and start posting videos again. I know it's been a long time and I'm a little rusty, so you guys are going to bear with me a little bit. For this drawing, these are some of my original characters from one of my original stories that I've written called Ordinary Stars. It's actually been a long time since I really drew these characters. This is actually a project I did for one of my art classes at the college. It was for a figure drawing class and we're supposed to take the figure drawings that we did in class and basically turn, put them into actual situations, put them in the context of like a story or something like that. We were only supposed to do like six, five or six of these poses and turn them into something, but I used like 10. <laughs> I was a little bit of an overachiever just a little bit but in total like I really loved how this turned out it was really fun to play with some of my characters and actually put them into scenes that were from the story whether or not I'll actually go ahead and go back and write the story or not is a whole nother story no pun intended but it's really and I really miss these characters but I, I want to redo some reworking of the plot first before I start actually finalizing it and making it so it's public I really love all these characters though and it was really fun to like start redrawing them again so each one of these characters are basically characters the theme of the story was originally about zodiac constellations and so if you guys really want to hear more about it and have me draw some more of these characters i would love to go ahead and do that and maybe break down how i do character design because i really decided had to go back and rewrite a lot of these characters um, back when I was redesigning them and like actually doing this project because it was really kind of fun and like there was no diversity in these characters let me tell you so it was really kind of cool to kind of add some different spice and add some different designs to the characters there's three of them that have kind of really remained the same throughout the whole thing and except for me changing their names but for the most part, I added some more characters that had a little bit more diversity. Like these characters, they're Afro-centric. <laughs> and it was really kind of fun because in the past, I've really kind of deviated from actually ever drawing anyone that was of any Afro descent. And it's been really fun to really start doing that. And I'm going to be real, like I'm of Afro descent and I just have never really drawn black people until recently <laughs> and so or at least intentionally and it's been really kind of cool to actually start drawing them again and I don't know why I never drew more in the past it, I think maybe it's because it was just easier it's what I saw whenever I was drawing or at least it's watching anime and like watching other stuff so it's been really cool to actually like look into other cultures and actually look at my own ancestry and start drawing them again but anyway so each of these characters they all had these elemental powers and they all kind of had to do with the constellations and the zodiac and i'm not really into astral astrology astrology yeah that's the word i'm looking for but i really do like astronomy and i liked how my story would have gone with the dynamic that astrology gives I don't know, this is something I wrote back in high school, so I really do miss all these characters though because they really did play a really strong part in my senior year of high school and I really liked just being able to like make up a whole story and make up a whole new world with these characters. I can't tell what's going on right now. Oh, I'm shading. Um, yeah, with some of these scenes it's kind of hard to see because one, I'm doing shading, which isn't really easy to see sometimes when it's such a small picture. And I, I apologize for the quality. I'm trying a different program. Canva has been amazing. I just recently started using it for work and I'm so mad that I never used it sooner because I, this most of this video is actually made in Canva. So I apologize that some of the quality is bad because this has actually been done on my Procreate and Procreate on my iPad Pro. So it's a little bit different in how the quality looks so I'm hoping in the future I'll get to do more of these and I'm gonna start posting some of my old work and putting them here so here you'll actually see that I've started making backgrounds for each scene which is something that I've never really had a strong suit for but I've loved going ahead and getting into know how to do backgrounds 
um, like here you'll see me doing for Aiden, the one in the top middle, um, a little gym and it's really cool to actually start practicing doing backgrounds because for a long time I really kind of avoided them because I just didn't know perspective but now I've gotten to this point in my life where I can do it. So I really look forward to doing more videos with you guys and it's so exciting. Here's the finished product and guys please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow up with me next week. Alright, see you again later. Bye!